and there are some non chemical controls also in the body which are called as nervous reflexes. So, let us talk about some of the reflexes. The most important one is the Herring Brewer inflation reflex. As the name indicates, this, uh, this reflex gets activated whenever the inflation is happening. But whenever the inflation goes beyond a limit only, this inflation reflex will happen, not on a day to day basis. What is the normal tidal volume? The normal tidal volume is around 500 ml. But when the tidal volume doubles, when the tidal volume goes beyond 1 liter, what will happen is it will send vagal afferents and switches of the inspiratory ramp. Because inspiration, 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 again it is not so good, we need an expiration to happen. So, it is sensed by the slowly adapting pulmonary stretch receptors and they send through it to the vagus. Then there is another reflex which is called as herring blue air deflation reflex. Suppose an alveoli is going for a collapse, it will be sensed by the rapidly adapting pulmonary stretch reflex and it will cause inflation or inspiration. So, it is just opposite of herring blue inflation reflex. Now, coming to the third group of receptors which is called as the J receptors. This in fact was identified by an Indian scientist only. His names are there in all the international books right now. A.S. Pintel. This is the scientist name who was identified. The professor A.S. Pintel has identified this J, J receptors. Why it was named as J receptors? Because it is very close proximity to that of the pulmonary capillaries. It is juxta. Juxta means near. It was near to the pulmonary capillaries. That's why this it is called as the J receptors. And what is the stimuli for this J receptors? The stimuli for this J receptors is pulmonary congestion, edema, microembolism or irritants. So, whenever this J receptors get activated, it activates a specific reflex called as pulmonary chemoreflex. We will study one more cardiac reflex also, but this is pulmonary chemoreflex. What will happen to that person is, the person will have hypotension, bradycardia, and expiratory apnea. He will have all these three triad of symptoms because of this activation of J receptors. And this J receptors will also produce a reflex called as J reflex. There is one more interesting story behind this J reflex. What it does is it inhibits the spinal stretch reflex. Suppose a person is constantly exercising and there is accumulation of pleural fluid. We do not want the person to exercise further and damage his lungs. So, what will happen is it will inhibit the respiratory muscles and it will make him stop exercising to do it at a higher level or over exert his levels. Okay. This J reflex is the one which is doing this inhibition. Physiologically, it is helping to avoid the over exertion. In Bhopal gas tra tragedy, what happened is this irritants and all the chemicals they activated this reflex and it was reducing the inspiratory efforts of the person who were locked up there or affected by those gas strategy. And these receptors were identified during that time only and this reflex is the one which prevented people from inspiring further. They cannot inspire also well, so ultimately their muscles got fatigued and some of them were not able to move out of the place also. So, this is the story behind the J reflex. Now, coming to the last reflex which is called as H's paradoxical reflex. It is a paradox. Head is the name of the scientist, not because of the head region in the body. It is a paradox. What happens is, usually whenever there is too much of inspiration, we want, we do not want too much inspiration, we want to stop it and cause an expiration. But what happens in this reflex is, inspiration is causing inspiration. This happens physiologically or happened physiologically in all of us at some point of time. When it is, it is during the childbirth. During the childbirth, we, the child tries to open up its alveoli. At that time, this inspiration will cause more and more inspiration and help the alveoli to open up from a collapse stage. That is called as head's paradoxical reflex.